Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you the easiest way to trade fake outs. There are many ways to trade fake outs, but this is by far the most simple way to trade fake outs and also the most beginner friendly because it's going to be the most obvious way to do it. So, I'll, what will you learn today? Uh, I'd like to begin this video by sharing with you uh, what is a fake out first, okay? Just in case you're new to trading and you do not know what I'm talking about uh, when I'm referring to fake outs, okay? Then I want to share with you why this is such a good method, right? Why should you be trading fake outs, right? What is the advantages of doing it? Basically, uh, it allows you to catch uh, accident reward to risk trades. Then after that, I want to go into the meat and potatoes of today's video, which is the easiest way to trade fake out. So okay, I want to give you specific criteria as to what to look out for. But I'm going to make it very clear to you so that um, you can go ahead and trade uh, this fake out easily. Okay, it'll be very simple, okay, but it's very powerful. And lastly, if you stay to the end, I want to show you a free indicator that can help you to do this uh, effectively. Okay, it's a free indicator, so means meaning that you do not need to spend money uh, to use this indicator. Okay, I'll walk you through step by step how do you uh, install this indicator using a uh, trading view and how do you use this indicator to identify fake outs easily. Okay, so let's go into today's video. So what is a fake out? Okay, just so that uh, you understand, right? It's just so that we're on the same page. So I, I kind of define a fake out as a, you know, a scenario where price breaks a support or resistance level. And instead of uh, breaking out in that direction, what happens is that a price goes back into the trading range. So over here, I have uh, two examples for you. Over here, I have the, um, the, the bullish example, the fake out of the, the bull, meaning that there was kind of like a bullish breakout, but uh, the breakout failed and instead price started selling down. So you can see over here that uh, there was some form of a resistance over here and a uh, price broke above, but after it broke above, instead of it going up, what happened is that uh, it started trending down and it, it, just, it just went all the way down as though uh, this breakout wasn't valid. So this is what I call a fake out. So the opposite is so true. Uh, this is kind of the um, bearish uh, setup where uh, you know a lot of people they'll see this as the recent low and uh, you know they do a uh, breakout trade. They sell over here, and what happens is that uh, the market just goes back up and uh, closes back above this level here, um, as though you know this wasn't a valid level. So this is a definition of a fake out. Okay, so. By the way, if you enjoy this content so far, really appreciate if you just take you know three seconds of your time to like this video, right? Hit the notification bell and hit the subscribe button because uh, we create a lot of videos like this to serve you. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. We love to connect with you. Just let us know what you need help with, and we'll record a video just like this to help you. Okay, we also have a free day trading guide. So I have it over here. The links in the description. So if you have not downloaded it, just uh check out the link in the description and download it. So why should you be trading fake out or why is the excellent way? Okay, uh, basically institutional players are accumulating their positions uh, whenever there's a fake out. And when you are able to identify the fake out, you're essentially following them. You're trying to trade with them. Okay, so you're going to make big good money if you're able to find out where the institutional traders are trading and you, you follow them. Basically, you piggyback them. Okay, because institutional players have the ability to move price in a big manner. So, of course, you want to follow them. Okay, in some of my other videos, uh, I mentioned that uh, this is what happens a lot of times. Okay, let me just try it out for you. Okay, uh, you have a resistance here and you have a support here. And what happens is that uh, retail traders are accumulating their position here. It means that they are buying here or they are selling here. Okay, but what institutional traders like to do is they like to buy below support and they like to sell above resistance. Why? Because uh, when retail traders, they buy here, they put their stop loss here, and basically the institutional traders uh, need to accumulate their positions because they are trading big positions, so they need the liquidity. So where do they get the liquidity from? They get it from retail traders like you and I. So if you set the stop loss wrongly, let's say you buy here and you set the stop loss here, uh, they put their orders here so that when you are selling, they are actually buying. Okay. So I have more in information about uh, this phenomenon uh, 
about institutional traders and how they trade. Okay, I'll leave a link in the top right over here later. Okay, you can check it out. Okay, uh, it'll come out as a YouTube a suggested video. Just check that video out if uh, you do not know what I'm talking about. But basically, since uh, institutional players are buying below support and uh, selling ab above resistance, if you can identify the fake out, then you can enter somewhere here. Then uh, you have a very tight stop loss because chances are you put your stop loss just below the low and uh, you are aligning yourself with the smart money. Okay, so that means price has the tendency uh, to move in a big manner after the institutional traders have accumulated their position. Okay, so small stop loss and big reward. So it's very lucrative and that gives you a very good uh, reward to risk ratio. Okay, so this is a very powerful way of trading. So what is the easiest way to trade fake outs? Okay, there are many you know, strat way, strategies as to how to trade fake outs, but this is by far the easiest way and uh, I want to show you how to do it. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look for a uh, price to force break uh, day high or day low. Okay, so this is very important. You only want to look at the day high and day low. Okay, you do not want to be looking at the H4. Okay, please uh, do not go H4, do not go into the H1, do not go anything lower than the daily. Okay, this is the criteria. This is very important. Okay, why is this so? The rationale is very simple. Now, when you have a day high or day low, that means that price has time to uh, you know, consolidate. There is time, you know, there is a certain time that price has consolidated. And that would mean that traders would have entered here, here, or you know, buy at the bottom, and they will have put their stop losses. So that what happens is that there is enough time for the stop losses to be collected. What happens is that if you were to trade, for example, the H4 time frame or the uh, H1 time frame, what happens is that uh, price doesn't have enough time to consolidate and the stop losses are not being collected. Okay, remember you are trying to um, you are trying to trade a fake out, so therefore you are trying to uh, let the stop losses here be accumulated, and you know when price goes down, uh, you want to enter when people's stop loss are being tripped. Okay, so this is a very important criteria. You want to uh, wait for at least a day high or day low. Okay, so again, uh, what I'll do is I'll go into the charts later. I'll show you how to do it step by step. But before I do that, I want to talk about the bonus. Okay, I want to show you uh, how to use this free indicator. Okay, these are the steps. What I'll do after this is I'll head over to the charts to show you how to do it. Okay, so um, I'm going to use TradingView. It's a web-based uh, platform charting platform so it's uh, free okay and what you want to do is you want to install this indicator called the multi time period uh, chart indicator you want to use the default setting and then uh, you want to look for price to do a fake out of the high or low of the box okay if you do not know what i'm talking about not to worry because right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch over to a uh, trading view to show you how to do it so right now I'm at tradingview.com. Okay, this is one of the charts. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on uh, the indicator section over here and you want to type a uh, multi-time period uh, as what I explained earlier on. Multi-time period. Okay, sorry, I think it's multi-period. Let me see. Um, okay, let me try to... Uh, it's multi-time period. Okay, sorry about that. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, okay. So sorry. This this is the this is the one here. Okay, so just choose this. Okay, so just choose the default settings. Uh, just leave it auto true range. It's fine. Okay, so uh, right now we have the indicator, and uh, this is how you use it. Very simple. So each of this box, uh, what this box represents is that uh, this box represents uh a day high or day low. Of course, uh, you can change the setting, but in this case, uh, remember our criteria is just a day high or day low. Okay, so in this case, there is a good example over here. So let me see if I can just draw it. Uh, so what happens is that uh, you can see that there was a fake out happening uh, today. So um, what happens is that uh, this was a uh, high, and then after that, you know, price broke above, just like what I explained. And then instead of price going up, uh, instead of price going up, uh, price just broke down, meaning that uh, this was uh, this was uh, this was 
a fake breakout. This was a false breakout, okay? So this is the power of this tool. It's very powerful. Just use this, okay? Of course, the more, um, the more the, um, the more, highs there are or rather that the more days that uh, you, you, you are able to find for example this this case over here let me show you in this case over here uh, you can see that in this case there was a fake out of one 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 day two day three day uh, in fact it, it went above this and this right we're talking about this week here so this was a very nice uh, fake out also you can see that this entire fake out here it's a fake out one day, two day, three day, four day, five days. It's a very powerful fake out. So what happens is that after price fake out, it went to the bottom. Okay. Uh, in this case, you can see that uh, price did not break the bottom. So you did not have a subsequent move down. But this is a very powerful sign to tell you that, okay, this is a fake out. Okay. So uh, if you can get an entry close to uh, these levels, these entire levels and put your stop loss somewhere above, uh, you would have gotten a nice trade. Okay, again, uh, this is not a full a blown strategy, uh, which you know I can I can't tell you the exact uh, stop loss and take profit. But what I want to show you is I want to show you how to identify uh, a fake out. Okay, so what you can do is what uh, in this case, let's say um, this case over here, uh, you see that there's a fake out of this high. Okay, very very prominent fake out, close above. Uh, and then break below. What you can do is uh, you can wait for a pullback uh, to this level and look for some form of a candlestick pattern uh, to short it down. Okay, so this is the other way that you can use this indicator or another way that you can trade the fake out. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Okay, uh, if you have any other questions, you know something is not clear, uh, just let us know uh, because uh, we, we want to help. Okay, so just a recap about uh, today's video. Okay, first I shared with you what is a fake out. So a fake out is just basically a breakout that has failed. So instead of price trending in the direction of the breakout, a uh, price goes back into the range. Okay, I also talk about why the fake out is an excellent way uh, to catch a good uh, risk to reward trades, meaning that uh, you are able to have a small stop loss and uh, you know you are able to align yourself with the institutional traders who have the ability to move price in a big manner. Okay, then I also show you the easiest way to trade fake outs. Right, you want to look for the day high or day low. Okay, you do not want to be looking at the H four. Okay, only stick to the day. Okay, you want to see a fake out of the day high or the day low. Okay, and I showed you how to use the indicator. You go to trading view and use the multi uh, period uh, trading indicator. Install it, use the default setting, and use the box high or box low. The moment price breaks above, and if you see price breaks below, then that is a fake out. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Okay, as always, right, I really appreciate it if you just uh, give us a thumbs up. Right, really appreciate it. it. Doesn't take you more than three seconds. Right, hit the subscribe button, turn on the not notification bell if you have not. Okay, make sure to download your free day trading guide if you have not as well. If not, Thanks for watching. I look forward to any questions that you might have. If not, I'll see you in the next video.